had a hell of a time, and uh, the crowd was massive, and everybody was happy, and I said, I have to go. No, 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 you can't. I just want to say it's been an honor to be your president, and so many of my friends are in this room, and they happen to be Jewish. And they said tonight that no president has done more for Israel than I have. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and they say not to wear white to a wedding to not outshine the bride. How about don't invite Donald Trump as a speaker to your wedding, ever? The ego on this man is astounding. I want you to picture it with me for a moment. And narcissist, you can see yourselves out the door because you won't get this one. Imagine going to a wedding. It's a nice event, and it's a celebration, and it ain't about you. And you go to make your toast and you just start rambling about how great you are and how much you've done for the bride and the groom. Not once thinking that the people in the room who may or may not even know you or like you and you just go on and on until someone takes away your mic and your drink. This is the behavior of an egomaniac, a narcissist, someone who does not understand that the world does not revolve around him and him alone. And that's been the key ingredient in what's making Trump as dangerously stupid as he is. His obsession with winning and being the best are the reason we had January 6th. Not because he had legal grounds for concern or worried about the fate of the country. No. John and Brenda Scants, skipper and first mate of the misbehaven, now retired, the self-described moderate Republicans voted for and still support the president. But maybe his ego is getting into the way of how he used to run a company in New York. He needs to listen to his cabinet members who he hired. He can't run the show by himself. And I think he needs to lose a little of his ego and get a little tough skin. The election is over. It was his hurt feelings. He may have had the single most dangerous and lethal pity party in the history of our country. His constant need for a coddling and confirmation has turned him into the most divisive and influential figure of modern day politics, but not for good reason. And the thing I've learned about a narcissist is that you can't have a real conversation with them. You can't expect them to be real version of themselves because their own image is so fragile that they fake it everywhere they go. Don't believe me? Look into Trump's financial background and how he constantly inflated his assets in order to make it look like he had more than he did. Not only is this criminal for tax purposes, it also served as a way to make him feel better, like he had the biggest and the best. Donald Trump is a fraud first and a moron second. Those two really don't go together well as you're bound to have your past catch up to you regardless. But your confidence, very thin confidence mind you, has you blow right past all that common sense. I'd venture to say I feel sorry for the wedding party in this instance, but if they didn't know that what they were signing up for, I'd have to kindly decline that sentiment. And lastly, don't invite a criminal to steal your spotlight from your wedding, folks. It's your day. It's about you and your family. And if Trump is a part of your family, well... Just don't tell him about the event, because if there's anything that man can do, it's to always make something about him. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.